music's too loud. Hold on. I can't hear myself think. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hi. It's been a while. So, I don't have much to say. I've been under the weather. I've been sick. <laughs> and I've just been... I've been tired. I want to move my mic a little bit closer. Let me see if I can... I'm trying to figure out where to move these two. I have like my TikTok live stream going and my YouTube going at the same time. Okay, I think that's good. I think, I think, I think this is good. Can you guys hear me okay? Hopefully you guys can. Hi, Angel. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. So yeah, I've been, I've been, I'm tired. How you guys doing though? <laughs> I'm just gonna take an hour to, I usually stream at four, but now that I, I have a job, yay. <laughs> They, I'm going to have to try to, we'll figure out how to manage all of that. But for now, let's just draw. Mind empty, drawing on. Um, So I have like the colors that I want to do for this illustration. So, you know, I wanted this. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Hi, Mo. Hello. Hope you're feeling a little better. Thank you. Here's a heart for you. Thank you. I'm hanging in there. I took some medicine to help. So... We're, we're hanging in there. <laughs> Hi, my Selena. Okay, this is happening now. Yeah. I'm, so, I don't know if you've heard, but I got a job. So, I have to. So, now I'm a working mama again. <laughs> so, I'm doing the whole working mom thing. So, we're going to have to figure out how how to balance that and drawing and live streaming and the YouTubes and the TikToks and then the comics and then the visual novel and then the coloring book and then the ebooks <laughs> so we're we'll figure, we'll figure that out and hello hello to you too mo <laughs> i love your the flower is so pretty on your avatar hi my patree hello hi 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 but how are you guys doing mo selena angel patree how are you guys doing this is so while you guys are typing your 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 answers i'll i'm going to let you guys know what i'm what my thoughts were for this illustration. So I wanted it. So like I mentioned before, this is all of you guys. Let me just hide this layer. <laughs> this is you guys right here. We're keeping it as a coloring book. So these will be the lines that we will, that I will like ink in. And it's going to stay super simplistic. Let's say, yay job, boo, feeling sick. I know it's just, I blame that there's not a lot of sunlight. I'm going to blame that for, for the icky feeling. Or maybe it's anxiety. I don't know. I'll talk to my therapist. I got a therapist too, so I'm happy about that. So we're on the path for mental health <laughs> and being adjusted as an adult. <laughs> Hi, Gina. Hello, hello, hello. I love the blues. You like the blues, Selena? Well, welcome, Gina. I, I don't I don't know. Were you here at the last stream? I think you might be new. So if you're new, hello. <laughs> But yeah, I like the blues too. I wanted like a starlight kind of thing. And I'm going to do like speckles of like little stars, like speckled throughout. And then like right here is going to be like the center white kind of color. And then like these ones are going to, they're going to be like yellow, like blossoms in the center. And then like you guys are just going to be laying on it. <laughs> no, let's see. I'm good on this lovely Saturday. Going to draw along with you for the first time. Yes. Yay, yay. Let's see, Gina, is your pink hair real? First, you gotta tell me how you're doing. You got you didn't even you didn't answer my question first. You guys can't be asking me questions and then not answer my question. How are you doing? You doing good? You doing good? You doing good? Hi, Zell, hello! Am I late? Nope, you're right on time. I just started with my rambling scene. <laughs> Patrice, I had the best conversation yesterday. I met someone who was majoring in what I'm going to minor in, ooh, in school. She made some uh, reading recommendations along with a roommate that does uh, what my main major is. That's amazing. That's such a good feeling, isn't it? Did that make you happy? That's amazing. I love having good conversations. I'm anxious about going to work <laughs> because I don't know how to talk to people. So I'm worried because a lot of people in my age group we don't share a lot of the same, like, things. So, fingers crossed, I'll be able to have that conversation as well. Okay, okay, I understand. I'm fine. What about you? I'm sweaty. <laughs> oh, I have, I have my shirt on. The reason why I'm sweaty is because I'm anxious. But I have my shirt on. This is what I, I made. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, 
fine. Just a little sweaty. <laughs> okay. It's in the prime example, I don't know how to talk to people. A part of my brain is like, maybe we shouldn't have told them that we're sweaty. And then the other part is like, well, they asked. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling sweaty. So wish me luck to where I can, you know, I'll report back to you guys how the first day of work goes. You know, I, I, can, I can talk to people my age and not weird them out. <laughs> Super cute. You like it? You like it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So the goal is I am nervous about doing this picture. Why? Because I'm worried that I'm going to mess it up. My fear of failure is already going strong in my head. So first, I want her feet to kind of push back down further because she's in the water. So we're going to just mess around with that. And I'm, on, I'm using like a vector layer, which is like the mathematical stuff to where <laughs> I don't have to worry about my picture looking pixelated. You know? What does this do? See, it's stretching it out. I want it to go like this. And then I'm going to just go like that. Do I know what I'm doing? Nope. <laughs> That's the fun of it. He's fun. You just wing it. Okay, and then I'm going to actually, like, I don't like that. My brain's screaming. I don't like that. I'm just going to keep it as is. We're just going to keep it as is. Patrice, so happy. We nerd out. And you got this. Is this an in-person job? I go in person in office on Monday, but they said it's remote, which is great. Um, so I'm hoping on Tuesday I can just, like, on Monday I'm hoping I learn all of what I need to do because I'm a web architect. And then hopefully after that, I, you know, after I figure, after they figure out what they want me to do, after that I could just like get all my supplies and work from home. <laughs> and then if they have pizza day, I will be coming into the office to get pizza, and I will be going back home. So we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, the first day I work in the office. Okay, so we had our draft and what we wanted. So I was gonna have her wearing this dress. Ah, so I'm gonna make a new vector layer right here. I'm gonna make it green like this and then and then we'll do like the inking portion after I have the whole draft like all compiled is that the word the draft all right there you know so let me and let me know if the mic is too far away or if I need to like pull it closer to my mouth because I don't know if I'm too far away or not <laughs> okay I'm going to believe you'll find someone to turn out with I'm hoping so I got this. I can make friends. <laughs> I can make friends. <laughs> I, I know how to do that. <laughs> I'm a normal adjusted adult. So I want, she's going to have, her skirt's going to be laying over top of the water. And I'm just going to wing it. You might be wondering, hey, how do you know how to do the folds? I don't. I just wing it. So since it's going to be on the top of the water, I'm just going to draw it like this. <laughs> and then it's over her legs. So I'm just going to just do it like that. And then do it like that. Because it's over her leg. It's like that. <laughs> and I'm just going to draw it around like that. Boom! Skirt! Hi, Burrito! Hello! How you, how you, how you? It's good to see you all again. See, I remember, I remember, Otaku Burrito, I remember your name. Because it made, it reminded me of a burrito. <laughs> but hi, 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 hi! Okay, so that's her skirt. And then, I have a 3D model. Hold on. Because I, I, the 3D model right here, this is going to help me with my lines. Because, <laughs> you know, I want it kind of pleated. So this is going to help me with my lines. So I just follow, I'm just going to follow this and then I'm going to wing the rest. So we're just going to follow this and then since we'll just put like a, for my wrinkles, I like doing V's, upside down U's, and parallel lines. What is that? That's like an upside down U. Or I'll do like this. Or this, like, it's, this is another V. Or I'll do this. I'll do a Y. So that's how I do my wrinkles. So we're going to put some Vs and Ys and upside down Us in the hem of her skirt. Okay. If you're wondering where I got this 3D model from, it's pre-made in Clip Studio Paint. I just go to Windows, Materials, and I click anything here. And then I can go to, like, Entire Body. And they're all in my poses. That's, like, pre-made 3D models. And then... From there, I can just, like, change the size of it. I just tap it with this object tool, and I can, like, change the size. If I tap this whole thing, I could change the size of it to be 
any size I want. If I want it thin, if I want it like this, if I want it chubby, I could do whatever I want. So that's, that's, for anyone that's wondering that just, that just joined, how'd you do that? That's how I do that. Okay. So next thing, I don't know how the wrinkle goes there because my brain can't visualize it. So I'm just going to leave that as is. You know, I'm going to just, I'm going to put that there. That's good. And you know, I'm going to put a, I'm going to drag this line that's on this thigh. Can you guys see it? There we go. Okay. And I'm going to put a Y here, an upside down Y. You see, there's her thigh line. I'm just going to do that. Why? Because I want to. Because <laughs> I could do, we could do whatever we want. Who's going to stop us? You know? He's fun. Okay, put that here. And then we're going to put another wrinkle here. And then since this line goes here, I'm going to put... I'm going to put something here or something here. And then we'll look at it after we get done. And then we'll put like a V here. I'm going to do that there. I'll leave that there. Okay, I'm done looking at this now. We'll take that away. Put my draft back. Okay, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. My brain is like, I'm not okay with that though. I'm gonna move this here. And then I'm gonna actually go like this. I'm gonna go like that. Nope, don't want that one there. I think I'm gonna go like that. Nope, yeah, like that. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do that. And then this part needs to go here. We're going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. That's good enough for me. Okay. Next thing. Because it doesn't have to be perfect. If my It has to be whatever my brain wants it to be. And that's what my brain likes. I'm going to put some lines here. Like what about the shapes and the form? You do whatever makes your brain happy. You know? My brain is like, I don't know. Just put some stuff here. And I'm like, okay, brain, I don't want that there. I don't want that there either. You know, I don't want this one there. I think I kind of just, do I even want any line? You know, I'm just going to put a line here. Yeah, and then I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a Y here. I like that. Yep, yep, I like that. We're going to do this here. I'm going to put something here. And then I'm going to do another Y here. And then I'm going to do a sideways V where her tummy goes because her guts a little apron tummy like that that's what i'm going to do this is inspiring me to want to work on my art the sketch is already beautiful thank you burrito yes draw with me you know no pressure but go ahead draw with me it's gonna be fun we're gonna have fun we're just gonna just no pressure just drawing i'm gonna put some no i don't want to put nothing there we'll just see this is why i should work on a separate layer okay this is good. We're going to take that one in the way. We're going to take this away. That's good enough for me. I don't want to put too many wrinkles because my brain's like, I don't know. So that's good. Nice and simplistic. Um, what next? I forgot what she... Okay, she's wearing... Do I want to have the baggy arm thing? Why not? Let's go ahead, go ahead and see how that looks. Um, so it's kind of like this. Wrong layer. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do another Y, and then I'm going to do... So, so I did this. I did a Y, and then I did like a 4. So I did a, I did a 4. <laughs> For this wrinkle right here, I did like a 4. Right here from this to this. Why did I put that there? I don't know. That's what my sketch has. Let me look at my sketch again. Okay, and then I'm going to make it look puffy. So we'll do another... Y there. What did I do? Like that. Like that. Let me see. Does that make sense to my brain? Like in this. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me put my sketch up. See, I already forgot what I was drawing. Let me. I'm just gonna keep this sketch up, and we're just gonna just go over the lines. Okay, so what I did was a four here. The four was like this, like that, that kind of, that's a Y. I know my letters. I, <laughs> I know my letters. I can, I can, I can understand letters. Okay, put the body back. My brain doesn't like that. 
forget the sketch. Let's just let's just do what we want. Put this back here, and let's just I'm gonna put this here like this, and I'm just gonna just go off of whatever my brain is like. Just just wing it, and then put this here. We're gonna put a Y here. And then we're gonna put another Y there. We're gonna put like a Y here. And then this is like her sleeve thing on my bob. Okay. You know, let's make this. We're going to do. We're, we did this kind of Y right there. That's the kind of Y we did right there. Put that. Wait. That's the skirt. This is that part. That's that. This goes like that. This is gonna go like that, I think. Okay, my brain's okay with that. And then we go like that. I have a book where it has lots of different outfits. Cause I, I, yeah, I try to imagine stuff, but it's hard. So I like this book. It has lots of different like outfits and whatnot. I have to make like an Amazon storefront so I can add the link so that you guys can like check it out. But this is the book that has lots of different outfits, so. And it has like wrinkle examples. But it's not exactly how she's sitting, so. Whatever. We'll put that there. Okay, next thing. What did I have for this sketch? So we'll do a star. A star like that. I can draw a star. <laughs> I can draw I can draw a star. That's good enough. And then this will go wait a second. How did I have that? Okay, so it's like one of those one shirts. Then we should I could do whatever I want. This is where it's gonna attach because I like it like that. So we're gonna keep it like that. I am the creator of my reality. It does not have to make sense. In my world, it can make sense in the world that I create, and that's good enough for me. I remember in art class, in like school and stuff, the teacher was like, it has to be seven heads tall, and it has to do this, and it has to fold like this, because that's how things fold and fall in reality. And I'm like, but it's a made up world, what do you mean? And they're like, you have to base, in order to create an imagination, you have to base it off reality. And I'm like, well, what if I want to create an imagination that's not based on reality? And I ended up getting a C in that class. And I couldn't understand. Because I couldn't understand what he was talking about. I'm like, I thought I could draw whatever I want. And so I didn't realize, you know, there's a curriculum that he was trying to, like, get me to follow. <laughs> but now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, that's why he said those things. Now I can just do whatever I want. Because who's going to stop me? So I'm just going to disregard all things. Unless I feel like not disregarding it. And then just drawing whatever my brain does not scream to oh yeah let's put some let's put some of these here let's put this here because you know it's fun it's art this this is my this is my this is my positive outlook outlet it helps it helps me to like learn how to like feel my emotions because once my brain starts screaming i listen to it and then i change things let me see. I want it higher. Oh, no, let's let's do this thingy where it goes like that and then goes like I'm sorry, I'm totally ignoring the comments. Hold on. Patree, I'll do a search for color combo when I'm coloring. Ooh, I can't color. I'm bad at coloring. I feel like that too. You know? Like I see so many people that can like pick out like these amazing colors and I'm like I would never have thought of that. So now I just wing it. <laughs> I embrace I embrace the chaos and I'm like, "Yeah, what?" We're gonna pick this color, and that's fine enough for me. <laughs> this is the story of my life. I was like, as a kid, and even now, like, why didn't you tell me this is the reason why you're telling me this exactly? <laughs> like, why didn't you tell me that? I thought this was like a must be law of the world. And it's like, no, it's a curriculum. I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, I can listen to you on that. <laughs> okay, my brain is saying something. It's telling me that it doesn't like these things here. And I don't think it likes the band there. I think I'll give it a sweetheart band. A sweetheart band like this. For the boobas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to bring this sleeve up here. 
And then I'm gonna bring this like this. And I'm gonna bring this sleeve up here like this. Does it make sense? Nope. Am I okay with that? Yep. Okay, and then I have to remind myself of that because sometimes I beat myself up like it's not good enough. So I'd like to tell myself, because I'm trying to heal my negative inner talk. I like to give myself that positive affirmation so that it helps me to be free and have fun with drawing again. And I let myself know, is this good? Yes, this is good enough. This is good enough. When I And I, I do that whenever I start catching myself being like, I'm not good. It's like, no, 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 we're having fun, right? We like this, yes? This is good enough. What we decide to do is good enough. Because we're doing it. And we're having fun. And this is all we want to do, isn't it? We want to draw, right? Then let's just have fun. Mind empty. Just drawing. Because it's hard to do something that's not fun, you know? That's what I realized triggered my artist block the most. And why I didn't want to draw. Because I kept like beating myself up and I realized that's not what helps my brain. For other people, that helps them a lot. But for me, I can't be a drill sergeant to myself because then I'm not going to want to do it. You know? I need I need calm, kind, positive affirmation. Whereas other people, they don't. And that's okay. You do what works best for you. But for me, that's what I need. Okay. So now we're going to do our hair. Hold on a second. Let me move this eye over here. Just a smidgen. And move this over here. And then we're going to move this over here. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to move this here. Give me uno momento. Por favor. Chacama. And then put this here. Mate. I'm learning uh, Korean on Duolingo. So I've been trying to do that and then I saw this um I saw this tumblr post where it shows like it showed this person was sharing how they learned another language and it was like they just like made a diary entry of their day and then they just like translated it into that language so that they can like start talking to people instead of just like you know my instead of just like memorizing nouns and stuff they they wrote down diary entries and then that way they knew how to like have like conversations about what they liked what they didn't like what they did so that when they went to the uh countries they could like conversate you know instead of being like that's an apple <laughs> so that's what i want to end up doing too flip it so i can reset my eyes ah see that's what i didn't catch the nose something was I'm gonna move the nose over. Can it? Yes, see, I make coloring way harder than it should be. Coloring should be relaxing, but the color combos have to make sense. Otherwise, my brain gets upset. It's a struggle. <laughs> but it's good that you are learning what your brain likes. The first steps of, of realizing what your brain, the 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 first steps of realizing like, you know, like um when you are like taking care of like a toddler or whatever, or you have like a niece or nephew and they're picky eaters. But then, like, once you realize what they like and what they don't like, it's easy to feed them. It's kind of like how our brains are, you know? Once we realize what our brain likes and doesn't like, it becomes a little bit easier to now create and do the things that we like. But the first step's always hard because we're used to just doing what the general public has told us to do. But then we realize our brain is a little bit different. It likes a little bit different things. It doesn't like crust on its bread. It likes non-crustables you know it's not picky it just has a preference okay okay i just wanted to move her nose around i like that my brain likes it okay back to the outfit let me think i think i might i think do i even want these here let me see i kind of don't want these here then what do i want what did i have for this <clears throat> Should I put like, um, oh, I think I like that where it goes around the neck like that. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. Got to make sure I keep an eye on the comments. She's not going to have anything on her feet because she's in water. Um, her hair, we got to draw her hair next. So we're going to put 
a little star right here. It's like, how do you know how to do the perspective? I'm literally guessing right here. <laughs> Whether it's correct in our 3D world or not, I just draw it however my brain is like, I like that. And then I'm good with that. So the key for me is I just listen to what my brain wants because my brain is the one that's releasing the dopamine. And that's what I want is the dopamine. And I can get it by drawing and listening to my brain as it bullies me. But I'm learning to work together with it. You know, I'm learning to work together with my brain. Okay, that's that, that's that. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so we're going to do braids. I do have a brush. But I, since it's going to be a coloring book, I'm going to keep it super simplistic. So first things first, I know people say like draw like the hairline and whatnot. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to just put this here and then we're just going to put some dots here. And I'm just going to draw, I'm not going to do it that full. We'll just go like that. And then we'll go like that. I'm gonna put a few lines here and there, and I'm gonna have it taper. That way, you get the essence of braids without the overwhelming of the, the, the lines, if that makes sense, if I'm making any sense. So this braid is going to taper like this, and it's gonna go like this. Here's that base where it connects. Another taper another taper you know what let's put one like do I have one down like that yeah I do I do I do I'll put one right here so I'm going to do a taper boop boop let me can you guys see I don't think you guys can let me just there we go I'm just saying even with color palettes I struggle so much you know because there's so many options you know so many things to choose from it's overwhelming one of the things that really helped me i loved i loved it when i saw this artist to where they're like you know i get overwhelmed by all the different color choices so i just pick three and i just stick with those <laughs> so they'll pick like three different colors and then like that will be their whole color palette i'm like i like that i like that you know so they'll pick like a blue a purple and a and a yellow or something and then they'll just use the different tones of that. So like they'll pick like a blue. Let me let me show you. And I really love seeing a, seeing this because that helped me a lot. So they pick like a blue. They pick like a I don't know a red. And then they pick like a what an orange. And then from there they just had those three colors. And then from that they just change the tones. You know like the saturations or however you call it. So anyways, they went like, they had this blue, so they had lighter ones, a light, oopsie. They had like a lighter blue, and then they had like the darker blue, you know? So like they had all these different like shades that they can pick from, from that like color. And then same thing with this one, they will go like this, and then they will go like this, and then they will go like this, and then same thing with that. They will go like, like this, and then they had like this, and then they will go like this. And I was like, wow. So like, that's what I like to do too. If I'm like feeling overwhelmed, I'm like, I don't want to think about all the colors. Then I'll just pick like three, or I'll pick two, or I'll pick one. I can do whatever colors I want. It's freedom. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was really cool. So I, I try to do that whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed. But yeah, coloring, it's, it's, there's so many things. There's so many, it can be overwhelming. So many options, so many choices. And then you get, you start panicking because you're like, what if someone says it's gray and muddy? You know, what if someone says this? What if someone says that? And I'm like, you know what? People are going to say lots of stuff irregardless. So I'm going to pick whatever my brain. I'm going to pick what is best for my dopamine. And not worrying about colors is what's best for my dopamine, for my brain. So I just do that. I just I just do what I did when I was a kid. The sky will be yellow and the grass will be purple. <laughs> and that is good enough. So now I'm just adding lines. I'm not going to add a bunch of lines because I don't want to. You know? 
because I don't I don't want it to like look too I don't want it to look um I don't want it to be overwhelming to color and I get overwhelmed so I'm just gonna base it off of me and I get overwhelmed when I see too many lines so I'm just going to she's gonna have beads at the end of her hair and then you know it's just you, you gotta burn the ends of your braids so it's just gonna be like a, a sharp kind of like tapered thing like that like that there we go braids and then we're gonna have some of the braids go like this and to make it look like braids I'm not gonna put a bunch of beads all over it I'm just gonna go like this we're gonna add some lines just random lines have some connect at the base have some connect there have some connect here and we're just gonna let our brain do the rest of it yeah there we go and then we're gonna actually make a gap right here like that perfect okay let me see this yes I do have some braids going out like that let's see hi Tony hello hello how you how you welcome 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 I'm doing an early stream because I got a job so now I'm trying to manage staying consistent with that while also staying consistent with streaming to a certain degree my goal someday is to where my youtube is like bringing in like the main income you know i haven't reached there yet and i don't know how if i will someday but i want to do it in a way that is fun and sustainable you know you know, so that's what I'm working on. That's what all of my goals are. But until then, I need to prioritize, making sure my family's taken care of, make sure bills are taken care of. So I got myself a job, and I'm so happy about that. I got a job. And now I can go to comic conventions again, you know? I can save up and go to comic conventions because I have a job to pay for it. <laughs> so maybe someday I can go to a comic convention, and we, got, we can meet, and we can say hi to each other, you know? You know? Congratulations! Thank you, Tony and Marita! Woo! I'm so excited! <laughs> Zal! We were laughing so much looking at the old art. You- Oh! I missed it, I missed it. Zal! One time, when my little sister was looking at her old uh, art back when she was elementary school, she came running to me and shouted, I was so bad at drawing as a kid, and then I said, you just noticed, oh my goodness! Zal, yo! <laughs> my mom said something like that to me, too! It was funny that you mentioned that, because my- my mom, she had told me, um, cause I asked her, I think I asked her a question about like, mom, did you always think my art looked nice? And she was like, no, when your art was, when you were younger, it was a little bit different. And I was shocked. I'm like, oh, you didn't think my art looked amazing? All that gassing up you did? I really thought I was doing something. And then, you know, when I look back at my art, I remember like all the praise she gave it. And I remember, and even now I look at it like, and I still remember like that happy feeling. And it's like, look at the detail. And I'm like, oh. She loved it. Now I realize it was all a lie. She was like, but it's really good now. I'm like, I don't know if you're just saying that now or not. But <laughs> but that's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. Hi, Millie. Your excitement has lifted my fears so much. He heart, heart for you, Millie. I hope you're doing okay. We'll lift each other's spirits up. It's kind of, you know, life be life and, you know. So I'm glad. I'm glad I could help. I'm glad I got that makes me happy. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> that makes me happy. Okay, so we got this. We got this. And we're gonna put one right here. This is good enough for me. And then we're just gonna just close this one off. Just close that off. Good. Okay, we got our braids. Um, I want I could I could do more with her forehead, but I really want a big, nice, juicy, cute, big old forehead. So we're gonna keep her hairline back here. Are we gonna add baby hairs? My baby hairs are kind of, they're kind of curly. So I, I have I have baby cabbage patches. So I'm just gonna put just some of those on hers too. Just a little baby little, I have baby sparkles. <laughs> that's what I have. I'm drawing along with you, yay! Okay, that's so good. Wait a second, when did I start? I started at one, 30, right? Okay, okay, we're good. I just saw those 2 o'clock. I'm like, ah, it's been an hour, but no, it hasn't. We will stop at 2.30. But okay, so this is what we got. And I'm gonna give her a little baby baby sparkles, like how I have little baby. Because my baby hairs don't really swoosh. <laughs> they kind of like roll like little little balls of little 
little sparkles. So that's what she has. So the baby here, she has baby sparkles. Okay, so I think I think we got everything. So now we can start inking everything in. So we got you guys. Chat, this is you guys. You guys are the little gumdrops or the little jelly beans. Little jelly, jelly bellies. Look at the little cuteness. Okay, so now that everything is done, I'm going to go to this layer and I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna do a layer mask. Which is just basically just, I'm putting a little, I'm going to, look, it's just, it's going to hide this layer. When I erase it, it's still there, it's just hidden now. That's what I like about layer masks, so I can use it later if I want to. If I, if I like something, but I don't want it to show, I could just put a layer mask, and that way when I change my mind, I can bring it back. So that's why I like to use a layer mask. Okay, so we're going to hide this so that when I'm inking everything in, I can just follow the lines that I have laid. So basically like it'll be like a mind empty or mind shut off and just mindless just cre just sketching, inking. So we're going to erase this, we're going to erase this. We're going to keep that there but we will erase this. We're going to keep this line there and we'll erase that. And again, it's just a layer mask. It's everything's still there. Watch. I'm going to Can you see this right here? I'm going to Turn it off the layer mask right here. I'm going to click this checkbox and it turns it off. And I'm going to click this checkbox and it turns it back on. See, it's still there. So that's why I like the layer mask. It fits perfectly with my anxiety. Let's put the booba line there. We're going to need that booba line there. But we're not going to need this one here. We'll take this part. No, we'll put, we'll leave that like booba crease there. Take this off. Take that off. Take that off. We'll just take this part off. We'll keep we'll keep that line right there. Take this one off. And then we just erase this. Take that off. Erase, erase, erase. Take that off. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Good, 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 good. And then take that off. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. And then... No, we'll keep that one. We'll keep that there. Okay. Alrighty. We got our hair in our outfit. Okay, so now I am going to... So you know how I have like two different... Oh, Petrie, let's see. Reminds me of the lady I met at the grocery store. She said her daughter picked up drawing and she's really good at it. But she's really hard on herself. Yup, yup. She also says she plays in the band and was talking about how badly her classmates were playing. Oh, her mom was like, give them a break. They'll get better. The daughter is like, hmm. oh my goodness. Her mom had me crack it up. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's very interesting how we, how we talk to ourselves and then how we talk to, how we talk about, it's like the creative aspect of things. We're so hard on ourselves, you know? And it's just like, why are we so hard on ourselves? Why do we hold ourselves up to like this perfection aspect? Is it like the fear of being ridiculed for not being good enough? Or is it just like this inherent need to be perfect? And it's like I ask myself that and I wonder because I want praise. <laughs> when it comes to I want, I want, I want, not praise, what like the core of it, I want the feel goodness you know when I create something I want to feel good because I like to be happy you know and I think that's why I get so hard on myself and why I'm like I, it needs to be perfect because a part of my brain is like I will not feel good if it's not perfect because when things are not perfect I typically do not feel good and I need to work on that you know I need I need to I need to be like hey it's okay to just be you know you look at the cats you know, a lot of cats just be chilling, you know, and we love them. We just record them just sleeping, you know, like if they, if they can just, just be and just exist and not try to like, be like, I have to be perfect, you know, so can I, you know, so I'm, I aspire to be like my cat Chio-chan and stop being so hard on myself, you know, but it is very interesting. It is very interesting. Okay. That's good enough for me. Okay, so what do you guys think? Let me flip it back. And then let me... 
So here's what we got. Here's what we got. She's 10. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny at such a young age. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember when my kids were 10. They would say just the craziest things. <laughs> I drew a comic of my daughter saying something. I was doing my hair. I think I had the comic on to pass, but I was doing my hair and I had like um I had like a tank top on and my daughter she was like, "Mom, your your arms is big." You know? <laughs> And I was like, just ignore her. Because, you know, I have bat wings, you know, my arms. So I was just like, just ignore her. I was like, so I was like trying to fix my hair. I was frustrated with my hair. So, like, I looked back in the mirror. She was gone. And then she shows up, like, right behind, underneath me. And she was like, Mom, your arms is big right there. And she, like, points to my boobas. And I'm like, honey, that's not mommy's boobas. That's not mommy's arms. <laughs> I'm like, can't you just be saying? <laughs> like, thank you. Thank you. Yes, they, they, thank you, honey. <laughs> okay, let me focus. I can focus. So we got our sketch done. I'm going to put this in a folder. So we have this layer, and we have this layer. Now we're going to ink everything in. <laughs> we're going to use my... I'm, I keep looking at the chat to make sure. Hi, Ayami. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? This looks amazing. Well, thank you, Mel. <laughs> but drink. She's a girl after my own heart. Yes, that was me. <laughs> I wish I had someone chill. Also, your daughter. I know it's. They, it, <laughs> she's just. She's, she's my little bundle. <laughs> Ayami, oh gee, your hair is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. I really like how these braids turned out too on her. I like how it looks. It looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna put this in the folder. Why? Because in that way, I don't get overwhelmed by seeing all these layers. So. We'll walk through what we just did. We have our 3D model. We got the head for the 3D model. Then we had, we traced over that head and then we didn't like how the head looked. So then we just did our own little thing because this is what, this is the, the 3D, this is what we traced over. But then I didn't really like how that looked. So I just made my own head, <laughs> you know, following. I just, you know, I did, did some, I did, I got a message on my phone. I thought, I thought all of a sudden do not disturb, but anyways. So yeah, so after we did that, I didn't like how the 3D model looked, so I just, I did my own tracing of that. And then this is like the initial sketch that we had, and that's what I based my like own sketch of my bob off. And then we did this. <laughs> and that's how we got here. <laughs> Please tell me this drawing is going to be available somewhere. Kofi, Patreon, win! I'm gonna do it. Okay, okay, I forgot to tell you guys. So, I'm making a coloring book, that way, um, so I'll have it, um, I'll, so on my YouTube, it has like a store section and it allows me to like upload like PDFs. So my goal is I'm going to turn all of this into like a coloring book so that you guys can either have a PDF version of this coloring book and color it on your like tablets, or you guys can have like the printed version of this coloring book. And I'll put that like on Amazon and Ingram spark for anyone who doesn't want to use Amazon. I'll put that on there. And then, um, and then that way you guys can either download it online or you guys can have the coloring book and color it in and stuff. So that's what it's going to be. It's going to be, I'm still trying to figure out what the title is going to be, but the whole like theme of this coloring book is glimmer. Pockets of glimmer, pockets of peace, things that make us feel like, whoa, la, 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 you know? <laughs> so that's what we, this one's going to be like, it's like a starlight glimmer. So I'm realizing a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is a lot of starlights. Let me see. Let me see. I want to do a uh, hiss. Megan, Megan the Stallion recently came out with um. She recently came out with an uh, album, and I want to draw. I really like how her cover looks, and I want to draw her as an anime character. But we'll see how it turns out. But in Hoodles, we have. So this is what we have so far. I've gotten. So we have this one, and. I have the line, so you know, I'll have the lines for this one for you guys to just color in. And then I'll have like, um, and then I'll turn it into like an art book too. So if you guys like want the coloring book, you can have that. And then you guys can have like the art book if you guys like want a book of my art. <laughs> I've never done an art book before, so I'm like, hey, let's go ahead and do that. So I, it's just, all of it is just like, 
it's like star it's like star themes so yeah so you guys are right here in these bubbles and then you guys will be right here in these ones so yeah yeah the drawings is so good thank you <laughs> thank you so much take my money now i need both color book formats on. <laughs> thank you guys that makes me so happy i suck at what a taco said <laughs> That makes me happy. Do you have any plans of making the illustrations in the book as prints, the color version? Yeah. So, um, cause I, that's what I, I want to update my art prints for like the comic conventions so that I can bring those to the comic conventions. So I plan on like having those available too. And then, um, and then I got to figure out how to like do that with spring store to connect it to my YouTube. So I'll probably like do a poll to see like which one's like the most popular and I'll put that as like an art print. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Well, this is a really good question, Ayami. That's a really good question. Okay, so now we're going to ink this in. And for the inking, I like to use this little vector layer. I'll show you right here. I like to use new layer and I like to use vector. The reason why I like vector is I'll show you. Let me show you. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this circle. Oh no! I need that circle to be bigger. What should I do? I can, I know I can just transform it. And you see how crisp that still looks? So let me show you what happens when I do that same thing with the raster layer on a raster. On a raster. <laughs> TikTok audio got kind of white boy on my raster. <laughs> rasta. Okay, so here's my circle on my raster layer. Oh no, I need to make it bigger. Easy, I'll just transform it. And then now, you see when I transform it, let me match it to that circle. You see like how it looks? You see the fuzzies? You see the difference? See, look, look at this. You see, look at my vector one. I'll hide, you see this right here? You see, you see the blur, 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 blur? You know, even though I can draw it, and it still looks crisp on the Rasta. It looks crisp on the Rasta. But when I transfer, when I transform it, it looks blurry. It, lo it looks, bl oh, it's getting blurrier. It looks blurry. But with my vector, it stay crisp looking. You see? It stay crisp looking. Crisp, blurry. So that's why I use vector. So I could just change the size of my lines whenever I want just in case I need to make like um I need to like make it in like a bigger print you know that's what I do I use the vectors so I can make it bigger because sometimes my computer can't handle because you know I could just like draw the original thing in a really big file but my computer can be a bit of a potato, especially because I use so many layers. Even though I could draw them all one layer, but that's a pain in the neck because I make so many mistakes and I don't like having to go back and redraw stuff. So I like to use vectors. So if I need to make it like even bigger, if I want to put it on a poster, I just have my lines already on their own layer. And then I just like make a new file that's bigger and then stretch out the lines. And they're still crisp. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Let's see, let's see. Let, oh, Mo, may I ask how you learned how to draw on your style? I don't really think I have a style. Cause, cause, and the reason why I say that is because, let me give an example. If I see an eye, like if I see an eye on like a certain anime, whether it's Sailor Moon, Maid Sama, or whatever, I will draw that eye over. I'm like, oh, I like that Sailor Moon eye. I'm now going to draw this character with Salem on eyes. So that's how I do my art. <laughs> I obsess over different eye styles and then I just redraw those eye styles. <laughs> so that's me. I, that's why I feel like I don't have an eye style or not an eye style. That's why I feel I don't have like my own coloring style or drawing style because I draw whatever I'm obsessing over. Yep. So right now this eye, um, that this eye, oh, taco. You see, they had an example on how to draw eyes, and I was like, oh, I like how that looks. So I have the link in the description if you want to check out this Webtoon artist's, um, see, they have all these different eye examples, how they draw eyes. Ah! How they draw eyes. So that's just what I, I was like, I like how that looks. So that's just what I did. 
right there. That's just what I did. I, I was like, I like that eye. So I just put that eye right there. And that's what I did. So yeah, so Taco's a good one. I like their coloring style. But yeah, so I don't think I... But some people tell me like, hey, I, I that's your style. I noticed her artwork. And I'm like, cool. People notice it even though I don't, I don't see it. But yeah, so hopefully that helped. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's see. Where did I... Where did I... Just throwing out there, pre-orders, a calendar. <gasps> that would be really cool. I could make that into a calendar, too. I think Spring Store offers that. I think Spring Store offers that. Yep, yep. Thank you. You're welcome, Mo. You're welcome. Maria Tao. Cliff Studio has vectors, cries, and knob. It's okay. I did. There's, there's so many things I still don't know about Cliff Studio Paint. I just kind of, like, find what I need, and then I go from there. Because <laughs> trying to learn all the bells and whistles, I get overwhelmed. Ears alert. Very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. Anyone want a taco? Yes, I do. I want a taco. I want a breakfast burrito. I had this breakfast burrito. I'm salivating. <laughs> I had this breakfast burrito at a twin... Oh, before I, before I forget, I'm using the marker pen. The size of my canvas, I believe it's 8 by 11 because I want to print... That's what Staples prints out as. So, um, that's what I'm drawing at. But eight and a half by 11, the resolution, I have it high because I want the colors to be super crisp when I print it out for the coloring book and for the art book. So you don't have to do it that high. When I save it online, I usually like lower the image to like a 72 DPI and I'll like lower the size down to like 1,200, you know, for the width and whatnot. And then like the height is whatever it like changes to. Cause I don't want to put the high res online because for one, it makes it load slow if I have it on my website. And then for two, people could just take the high res and just print it. And then their qualities will be <laughs> super clear. And it's like, no, <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> so that's what I do for online. But any hoodles, I like, I like using this marker pen because it looks super crisp. And then I use the anti-alias because it gives it like that anime-esque kind of look when I'm drawing. So... And then I have the stabilization. I'm gonna actually move it up super high because my hands shake like terrible. And then I personally like to zoom in really close. Why? Because if I were to like zoom out, all of this is overwhelming to me right now. And if and it makes me be like, oh, I have to draw all of this. <laughs> so when I zoom in super close, some people don't like to zoom in close. I do because it helps my brain just to focus on, hey, we don't have to draw a whole bunch. We just gotta draw that one line. I'm like, oh, okay, I could draw this line. And so then I just draw that line. And I'm like, good job. Let's draw the next line. And then by the time I'm all done, the whole picture is done. So that's why I like to zoom in close. Some people don't. Some So um, some people like to be able to see what they're drawing because, you know, they can't see. So one thing that I also like to do while I'm on stream, I like to make a new window. And then I put it over here. And then I make this kind of smaller because sometimes, because you guys can't see my navigation, that's where my head is at. So I put this right here so you guys can still see what I'm drawing. And then that way I can still be zoomed in to my actual picture. And then you guys can just see what I'm drawing the full, how it's looking fully, you know? So yeah, so that's what, that's what I like to do. So you definitely do whatever is best for you. I'm not going to put a whole bunch of details in this because... I don't want the um, coloring part to be too, like, overwhelming. So we're just going to put a few squiggles and a few lines just to give it that look of, oh, she has braids. You know? This is, this is the freedom of art. I can define and create it however I want. And I say we shall just put squiggle lines there. You know, do what makes you happy. Do what you like. We have a few minutes before 2.30, so let's just go ahead and draw these lines. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. There we go. And then, did you guys like today's stream? Are you guys happy? I do baby steps too. Yep, yep. Also, for me, zooming in helps with details that I may have missed if I wasn't zoomed out. See, and it, it's just, like, so fun to just find out what, like, what grooves to your art. 
machine in your brain. <laughs> so yeah. I have a friend, um, she has to be zoomed out because she's like, because the hiccup she has is she'll hyper focus on like the small things. <laughs> And then like, and then so she's like, sure, and I can't, I can't zoom in because then I, I hyper focus on the small stuff. And then when I zoom out, it's so tiny, no one notices and I get mad. So I'm like, just, just do what you, you don't have to do what I'm doing then, bestie. It's okay. And she's like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I have a friend who's, who's like that. So I like, uh, it's fun learning all the different like, art styles and all the different artists out there, all the different art brains, you know? It's not like a one size fits all, it's a whatever size fits best for your brain foot. Yeah. <laughs> Burrito, I'm happy I learned exactly three things, Woohoo! Guilty, I hyper focus on small things. <laughs> it's hard, you know, because you get in the groove, you know? And you're just vibing, you know? It was nice and relaxing. Listening to the rain, I like your friend. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they're they're really good. Their art is amazing. I'm gonna do like that. So I love their art. It was fun, like in school, drawing together with them. We had like our own like little group called TKO, and we would just draw together. And then we had like a journal to where we would pass it around. Um, each week and we will all like draw a, a chapter of something in it And it was just fun. Just just being teenagers having fun We'll put this here the booba And we'll put this here Okay, we got a minute <laughs> We got a minute. Let's see what lines we can draw in a minute But yeah, I don't know when I'll do another stream because since now I have my uh, job, I don't know how my energy levels will be. So I will definitely, we'll have to play it by ear. I would like to continue to at least stick to Saturday streams. And then I have to figure out when I'm going to stream on Twitch, what days will work best for Twitch. Because I usually streamed on Twitch on Mondays, but I, I work now on Mondays. So um, I'll definitely... Like, just test out things and see what works best. And then we'll just, we might have to just be a little bit chaotic, just a smidgen. There might not be much of a, um, of a consistency at a specific time. But we will find, we will find a routine that works best. And we shall adjust. So I'll definitely keep you all posted. So make sure you guys are following me on Facebook. It's S for Sheeta Studio on Facebook. And if you guys drew something today with me, make sure you guys share it in the comments on Facebook. I make like a post whenever I like go live on, on YouTube. I have that on my Facebook page and share in the comments what you guys drew so other people can see it and give you guys love, you know? Okay, it is 2.30. This is what we were able to get done so far. Let me zoom out. Okay, boom. We got that. <laughs> We got that done. But yeah, so this this is all for now. Thank you so much, you guys, for keeping me company. I had so much fun talking with all of you. And it's so nice to see some new faces, you know. And it's so nice to see some familiar faces. I'm getting better at remembering some things and other things I'm not. But it, it, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. But okay, I'll talk to you guys next stream. Thank you all for sharing my videos, YouTube videos. It helps so much. And even like leaving comments. And even if you don't leave comments, thank you for just sharing and liking it. Because it helps the YouTube channel grow. And then hopefully I'll be able to just do this, you know, longer and more often if we can get the YouTube channels to, to grow. And But wish me luck. I'll keep working hard and keep doing what I do. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I love you. Have fun. Enjoy your day, and if you're watching this this re-watch, re I hope you enjoyed it. Yes? <laughs> this was so fun. Thank you, Mo. You're welcome. Thank you for trying. Feel better. Get some rest. I'm going to go take a nap because I, I had like a headache like right here in my temples. And I don't know if it's if it's because like it's the water pressure in the adder. But okay. I'll go ahead and talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye. Bye-bye.